In this lecture, we will go ahead to discuss the routing system in Next.js 14. And so, let's talk about the app router. Next.js implements a file system-based routing techniques in which the URL path within the browser tab is controlled by the file and folders within your code base. Sounds tricky, right? Don't worry. When we begin to practicalize it, you will definitely understand it well enough. Take note of this key point. In Next.js 14, when a folder is created within the app directory, that folder automatically becomes a route when a page.ts or a page.js is created within. So following the Next.js 14 routing convention, in order to implement a route, you must definitely have to create a folder within the app directory. So let's assume we are building a reward website where we need a contact page and a profile page. Command B to open up the Explorer. Within the app directory, right click and then new folder. We are going to call it contacts, just like this. Another one within the app, right click, new folder. And this will be called profile. Having done this, let's check it out on the browser to see if it is routable. Go back to the browser. And here I'm going to do localhost port 3000 slash contact. When you hit on the enter key, it says it throws back a 404 error not found page. You know why? It is simply because we have to create a page.tss or .js within the contact folder. That exactly is when this folder will become a route. So right click, new file. And we are going to do page.tss within RFC to generate the React functional component. Contact page. You can use a H1 tag if you want. Take a look. Now, when you check out the browser, you are going to see the contact page. Let's route the profile page. So I'm going to do localhost 3000 slash profile. When you hit on the enter key, it returns a 404 error not found page. And I guess by now, you should know exactly what to do at your end. Pause the video and implement the profile route. Let me help you with that. Within the profile directory, right click, new file. And we are going to call it page.tsx. Simply because we are using TypeScript, that is why we are going with the .tss extension. Hit on the Enter key. Again, RFC to generate the React functional component. Here, I'm going to do Profile page. Let's implement it within the H1 tag. Cut this. Paste it within. And boom. All right, save on the browser. Can you see now? Now the page is visible. Okay, so you can give the head one tag a class name and then we're gonna do text dash nine Excel. This Tailwind utility class simply means we are increasing the font size to its RAM. When you save and check out the browser and boom, can you see? It becomes very bold like this. So now this exactly is how to implement routing in Next.js. We can also route to the contact page. Just like this. And boom. Can you see? So take note of these key points. Routes are associated with the files based on the containing folder's name within the app directory. So a page.ts within the contact folder will map to slash contact and a page.tss within the profile folder will map to slash profile. And that is why when you come here and do slash contact, you will get the contact page. Matter of fact, we can actually give it a background color so you understand what we're talking about. So here, let's give this div a class name 
and then within the class name we are going to make use of the utility class bg dash yellow dash 500 when you save and check out the browser and here is the contact page so in summary each folder within the app directory corresponds to a URL segment when a page with a .ts or a .js extension is created within. Teaching good? Beautiful.